One of our primary objectives in the Mega Lab is to take innovative technologies and apply them to our research so that we can improve our understanding of both the biology and the ecology of coral reef ecosystems. We create these high resolution 3D maps and then we can overlay as many forms of data as possible in order to discover how these reefs will respond to large scale stressors such as climate change and local stressors such as pollution. A unique aspect of this project is that by integrating John's real world content into the virtual reality environment, we were able to enhance the user interactivity of the visualization. So from using a mouse and a flat panel display to manipulate content, users can now use a VR system such as the Vive or the Oculus to be virtually transported into the visualization of a coral reef. So we then created a user interface that allows you to manipulate the reefs. Uh, you can scale it, uh, you can move it around, fly around it, or really dive into it. So it is a highly immersive experience, and we believe this provides opportunities for better analysis of the reefs. It also gives the users, the public, or the researchers an overall picture of the reef systems. Um, the project was a great opportunity for collaborations from students between fields in computer science, marine science, and the arts. We chose Unreal Engine for this project for its quick VR setup and easy to navigate workspace. We started out with Unreal's standard VR template, which was light enough for us to be able to pick up easily while also having the features needed to get the project off the ground on day one. In our tool chain, we also used a popular open source program called Blender so that we could prepare the meshes for importing into Unreal. In Blender, we used a process called decimation to simplify the reef models to something that would run a little bit more smoothly. Now, this reduces the resolution a little bit, but it also preserves the most important parts of the model. Integrating 3D technology into our research has enabled us to dramatically advance the science, and now we can understand how the exact structure of a reefscape is controlling elements such as biodiversity and ecosystem function. And this is pushing us way beyond where we were in the past. And we can really now determine how these systems will respond to processes such as climate change. The other beautiful thing is we get these 3D products that we can put into applications such as this virtual reality app. And now people can firsthand immerse themselves in our study sites. And rather than have to look at charts and graphs, they can see what a healthy or a degraded reef looks like and watch them change over time.